This is Eyewitness News, first at four. A new twist in the U.S. Olympic team's sex abuse case. A gold medalist claims that she was forced to sign a confidentiality settlement to keep her allegations a secret. Hello and thank you for joining us in David Ona. And I'm Ellen Leva. This is Eyewitness News at 4 o'clock. Despite a conviction, the court battle over the sex abuse scandal that rocked the U.S. gymnastics team is far from over. Olympic medalist Michaela Maroney is now suing USA Gymnastics over a confidentiality agreement. And Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is here with the details on this suit. Leanne. David and Ellen Michaela Maroney. Roni's attorney says the superstar gymnast had no choice when she was forced to sign a deal to keep her alleged abuse by a former team doctor quiet. He says USA Gymnastics was willing to engage in a systemic cover-up to protect their reputation and not the victims. Gymnast Michaela Maroney was part of the Fierce Five Olympic team, winning a gold and silver medal. Her attorney says she was also sexually assaulted at the Olympic Games by former team doctor Larry Nasser, whom she says had been molesting her for years. Maroney now filing suit against U.S. gymnastics, claiming she was forced to sign a confidentiality agreement to prevent her from speaking publicly about the abuse. USAG is misusing their power because they want to protect their image. They're going to silence one of the, the most famous female athletes in the world and say, you can't talk about your rape. You can't talk about your sexual abuse and you can't talk about our responsibility for it. Attorney John Manley says confidentiality agreements violate California law. He says Nasser abused Maroney between 50 to 100 times, starting when she was 13 years old and continuing until the Olympics. The Wall Street Journal says Maroney was paid $1.25 million to sign the agreement in 2016. In October, she took to social media as part of the Me Too movement, disclosing her abuse. Nasser has admitted to sexually assaulting numerous female gymnasts over the years and possessing child pornography. He was sentenced to 60 years in federal prison. In a statement, the Olympic Committee says, quote, we are heartbroken that this abuse occurred, proud of the brave victims that have come forward, and grateful that our criminal justice system has ensured that Nasser will never be able to harm another young woman. I think what she'd say to USA Gymnastics and the U.S. Olympic Committee is, get rid of the people that did this to me, my teammates, and these other little girls who have been hurt. It's wrong, it's repugnant, and it needs to stop. Maroney's attorney says that they want that confidentiality agreement nullified. Now, Maroney's fierce five teammates, Ali Raisman and Gabby Douglas, have also publicly accused Nasser of sexually assaulting them as well. Live in the newsroom, Lee Hyun Suter, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Shocking story, Leanne. Thank you for the.